Welcome to our complete dining guide of Silver Sea Cruiser's recent addition to their ever-evolving fleet, Silver Moon. The second of three current generation Muse-class ships, she shares the same design DNA as her sisters Silver Muse and Silver Dawn, but with a few unique touches and features that subtly sets all three apart from each other. For the size of a Muse-class ship, there really is an abundance of choice with eight dining venues and that's without room service and the cafe. We're going to show you as much of these as we can, which were our favourites and what venues we consider a must-visit during your cruise. There should be enough time on board on your voyage to get round them all, but if there isn't, we hope this guide will give you some pointers as to what to prioritise according to your individual tastes. Who knows, you might find you return to the same one or two favourites for the entire cruise. Well, we're here to help. This guide is pretty much relevant to all three Muse class ships, except one small difference on board Silver Muse, the salt kitchen is replaced by Indochine. If you find it useful, please subscribe and hit that like button and leave us a comment below as to your favourite venue and which you'd like to try on your upcoming voyage. Bon appétit! We begin in La Terrazza, which is a familiar and iconic name to most of the Silver Sea fleet. It's a venue where you can enjoy breakfast, lunch and dinner, and has a beautiful rear terrace for al fresco dining any time of the day. Hence the name La Terrazza. The breakfast and lunch offers a relaxed buffet style, with a mixture of self-service from the excellent interactive food stations to full table service if you prefer. Here's a quick look at a selection of what's on offer. dinner, the venue is a la carte with a full table service offering a delicious menu of Italian family style favourites and of course some innovative dishes too. The chefs on board really do possess massive skills and flair for creativity as you will see over the coming minutes. Next up is another perennial favourite which is featured on many of Silver Sea's fleet, Atlantide. Named after the seven nymph daughters of Atlantis, this should give you a clue as to the main cuisine. Atlantide is the best place to go if you want a more formal and elegant sit-down breakfast and lunch, but it is the evenings where Atlantide really shows off with its sumptuous steak and seafood menu. Decadent designer dishes featuring the best seafood and with that, one of the most detailed steak menus I've ever rested my eyes on. Here's a selection of what's on offer. Next door to Atlantide is Salt Kitchen, a brand new restaurant concept introduced on the Silver Moon as part of Silver Sea's Sea and Land Taste Initiative. We have a video all about salt, so follow the link in the top right corner now or click on the one at the end of this video. Salt Kitchen is Silver Moon's destination focused restaurant where you can enjoy and experience the local cuisine, culture and culinary heritage of the localities of your current voyage. It's a brilliantly executed concept and Salt Kitchen was one of our favourite dining venues. There's no booking necessary here, so I can pretty much predict you'll be here more than once. On 
Opposite the Salt Kitchen is another restaurant exclusive to the Muse-class ships, the Japanese fine dining venue Kaiseki. The evening service attracts a cover charge of 40 US dollars per head, but in our view is definitely worth the price. The whole experience from the moment you walk in is exemplary and the food is immaculately presented. If you want to visit Kaiseki and are not keen on paying the cover charge, it is open every lunchtime with no cover charge for a great selection of beautifully presented sushi dishes. Here's what we enjoyed. The evening, however, really shows off this restaurant and its talented chefs. We don't often indulge in Japanese fine dining, I think the last time was on Silver Spirit, but when we do, it's an exquisite experience. We highly recommend at least one evening here. The other restaurant to attract a reservation fee, this time 60 US dollars per head, is La Dame, a name synonymous with the finest of fine dining on board Silver Sea's fleet over the years. This is Silver Sea's signature French restaurant. The venue is further enhanced and enlarged on board the Muse class ships, affording beautiful aft views from these huge windows and uniquely specially commissioned Lalique glass panels. La Dame is Silver Sea stretching themselves towards that ultimate dining experience at sea, and after our meal here, we're not going to argue with that. Feast your eyes on the following montage. Okay, so we've neatly moved on from decadent luxury to a more laid-back experimental vibe at another of Silver Sea's notable guest favourites, Silver Note. In short, Silver Note serves inventive tapas-style small dishes against a backdrop of smooth jazz, played live by the ship's talented easy-listening duo. The avant-garde cuisine is not specific in its flavours or geographical influences, but you'll always be pleasantly surprised at what is served, how it tastes, and how the chefs strive for a visual quirkiness that will put a smile on your face. Like on Silver Spirit, the menu is divided into earth and ocean selections, both raw and cooked. Then, when the meal is over, sit back, have another drink, and relax to more of that smooth live music caressing your ears. Perfect. As we said about Silver Spirit, the imaginative food and playful music fit together like a two-piece jigsaw. In Silver Note, one would simply not be complete without the other. Thank you. 
Spacanapoli is named after the famous street in Naples which divides the city in two and is well known for being the birthplace of the pizza. It's located above the grill restaurant overlooking the pool deck and is a relaxed outdoor only dining venue. It is open from 11am to 11pm every day so perfect for any time dining. Just pop along. The pizzas are freshly prepared to order and cooked in a traditional pizza oven. Many cruise lines lay claim to having the best pizza at sea, but in my opinion, after many visits to Spacanapoli, they can only really claim to have the second best pizza at sea. You can even watch them being made as the talented Pizza Yolo are outside with you preparing your lunch. Pizza Yolo is the proper name of the person who throws a pizza dough around to create that even stretch. In fact, it's almost impossible not to be tempted to have lunch here every day when the weather is good. If you like your pizzas, I can predict you'll be back here time and time again. The grill is located at one end of the pool deck with tables offered under a canopy near the grill area, along one side of the pool and some tables out in the sunshine for those wanting to eat under the sun. It opens every lunchtime at midday and stays open into the middle of the afternoon, so it's perfect for those later returns after spending some time ashore or on an excursion. It offers all the usual grill type fare, including burgers, wraps, sandwiches and salads. The grill is perfect for grabbing a snack around the pool or enjoying a three course lunch and quickly became our favorite lunchtime venue. Well, after Spacanapoli, of course. In the evening, the grill turns into hot rocks, the interactive experience where diners have a little bit of fun, but not without first putting on a rather fetching but reassuringly robust apron cum bib. The waiters bring forth your own individual hot volcanic lava stone, which has been preheated to around 400 degrees centigrade. Given the style of cooking, the food on offer is suited to cooking by such methods, steak, king prawns, skewers, etc. Each is served with a choice of sauce and side dishes and rounded off with desserts such as gelato and cheesecake. Now we've probably all seen Downton Abbey or a film or series of something similar and on board Silver Moon or any other Silver Sea ship in fact, you can live out your very own scenes without Dame Maggie Smith. Well, unless she's on your voyage and staying in your suite, wouldn't that be a thing? Yes, I'm referring to room service and the impeccable services of your very own butler. Believe us, you have to have breakfast in your suite at least once. In-suite dining is available throughout the day and offers the usual room service dishes and also offers guests the chance to enjoy a full three-course dinner in their suite. Great if you've had a busy day and just feel like relaxing in your room. If you feel like a mid-afternoon or early pre-dinner snack, your butler will also bring you caviar with all the trimmings and a selection of canapes and nibbles, all delivered and presented with the usual verve and aplomb that your trusty butler has been so perfectly trained for. These people really are superheroes of satisfaction, conquistadors of contentment and harbingers of happiness, and yes, they all have a key to the champagne cellar. Last but definitely not least, we could not leave this dining guide without mentioning the marvellous Arts Café. Although this technically is not a restaurant, this is the go-to place for delicious snacks and treats throughout the day, and we spent an awful lot of time here, which given the food we're now going to show you was a little bit fatal to our rather slender and optimistic daily calorific limits. The Arts Café offers a relaxed place to sit, be it indoors or outdoors, wonderful coffee and delicious snacks. It all starts at breakfast time with an array of pastries, fruit and yoghurt, or breakfast paninis, as well as fruit juices and smoothies. At lunchtime there are soups, different paninis and a range of tempting mini desserts. But the best bit of the day is afternoon tea, when an amazing choice of finger sandwiches, individual cakes, scones and cream, and the biggest array of various sponge cakes miraculously appears. Unless you have a will of iron, this will put the final nail in the coffin for any hopes of escaping your voyage without weight gain. And it's on that weighty bombshell we have come towards the end of our dining guide on Silver Moon. 
The variety and quality of food and dining venues on board Silver Moon is incredible given the size of the ship. We enjoyed a 10 day voyage and even then we struggled to visit every venue and there were definitely some we were desperate to return to. Well I suppose we'll have to sail on another Muse class ship then. Thank you for watching and we hope you press that like button followed by the subscribe button followed by one of these videos we think you'll enjoy that explores the Silver Moon further. Thank you.